I hope you guys have had an amazing winter break so far. And if you are in college, you lucky people, you get to have another, you know, four days of break. Me, on the other hand, I'm going back to school tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to talk about some really good purchases I've made over the winter break and how much I love, like, the things that I've gotten. Like, four hamsters and stuff like that. I also got a new pet. His name is Comet. I will show you him at the end of the video. I'll talk about him at the end of the video. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys was, where is it? Ah, here it is. It's this, um, it's this dry shampoo powder, and it is made, and it smells like lavender rat, rosemary, sorry. It smells so good. Like, it's, Einstein, when I use it on him, like, you just have to, like, move it into their fur and stuff like that. He smells like a lavender bush. It's, I got it from Petco. I've been really liking Petco a lot more than PetSmart. I don't know why. I mean, I buy all my animals from PetSmart, but like I buy all of their equipment for my pets at Petco. I don't know why. Maybe I should just buy everything pe from Petco. But this I bought from Petco. Um, this was like $8, I think. And But like if you don't like your hamsters smelling like pee or feces, I would recommend buying something like this. It's uh, it's really, really, really nice. It doesn't wash off your any of your pet's oils. It keeps them there. That's another reason why you don't ever want to wash your pet. Hamster never wash them with water. I went on hamster forums and I was like, okay, I accidentally washed. I didn't know that you're not supposed to wash your hamster with water. And they were like, well, if he doesn't have any signs of being sick, just don't do it again. It's really easy for them to get sick from you washing them because they get cold. It rinses all their important oils off of their skin and makes them actually more oily looking than they did before. So I would not recommend and I just wouldn't wash your pet hamster in water. Um, another thing that I bought, this was actually from Petco, I got these things, they, they're like sticks covered in like this weird stuff with like sprinkles, um, Einstein, I was worried about Einstein not being able to chew on stuff, like, cause he doesn't really chew, but I thought like his teeth were getting too long or something, so I got him these things and I gave him one and he loved it, so Whatever those are, they're good. I don't know if they're how healthy they are, so I don't want to feed him another one for a while longer. Um, he literally ate all of that stuff off, and he like dug it into the thing. So I'm really proud of him for you know trimming his teeth. Another really good purchase was this. This um, this chinchilla by sand, not dust, not dust. Never buy dust. Those are basically like all of like the actual like really good purchases that I've made that have to do with pets and like that have actually helped me. Box now, box now. I have a Comet box. It's under my dresser. Not right now because I wanted to show you guys like what stuff I got for him after I show you him. So let's go see him. So this is Comet's uh, aquarium tank. Uh, it's a 2.6 gallon. 360 tank from Petco. Uh, there he is, like in the back there, if you can see. I'm gonna try to focus it. There he is. That's Comet. Um, we named him Comet because we thought that that'd be a good, suitable name for him, considering he looks like one when he flies around. When he when he zooms around the tank, he may or may not come, like, see. But that's okay. Anyways, we also got this little castle. We also got from Petco. All of the stuff <clears throat> that's in here is from Petco. Except for the crystal, I got that from 
somewhere else. Same with the Marimo Moss Balls. I, I got the smaller one next to the bigger one from... I got the big one from Petco. And I got the sm no, I actually got it from PetSmart, I think. I got the Marimos from PetSmart. I got the smaller ones off of Etsy. And I hate that person who I got them from, but that's okay. Um, I also got these aquatic plants, and they're real. So that's Comet. He likes that corner back there because he kind of blends in with the, uh, with the plant back there. And then his tank has white LED lights. They can go off or it can be blue. But I like to keep it on white so you can actually like see what's happening during the day, but then at night I turn it to blue. Um, another thing that I got for Comet, uh, I have another box for him now. I have a box for him. Um, now it's just a normal box, like Einstein's box, except has fish stuff in it now. So I'm just gonna go through like what I got him. Like just for like a starter. I don't know. I'm not really gonna buy him any more things. Because he already has like a lot. And this was supposed to be like a small thing, but I turned it into a really big thing because I read more about it and the tank that I had him in before was really, really, really small. And the plant that was in there took up a lot of space and it was just smaller than your average tanks. So I got him these these pebbles. Always rinse the pebbles off before you put them in the water because it's they're dirty and they're just dirty. It'll just make the water foggy and nasty and you don't know what it'll do to your fish. So I also got filters for my tank. It's filtered, yes. Um, really, if you're gonna go with a tank like that size, it's gonna be filtered. And what I was thinking was like, okay, if he dies, if Comet ever died, um, I could put like different kinds of fish in there. Because what I realized, like when I bought him, I was like, you know, I just like want one fish because we thought we were just gonna put it into like the little, the little tank that I had. But then I like started reading, and it's like, oh, they're supposed to have like at least two gallons, but people put them into these like shoebox size tanks. That's what you call for hamsters. So it's basically like hamsters like how they put hamsters into like these tiny little containers like they put these fish like into tiny little containers too but they're actually supposed to be in you know bigger containers which cost more money but it makes the fish more comfortable um another thing i got for the fish tank and for the plants really this is a plant it's called leaf zone it promotes aquarium plant growth and it just helps with the plant growth um and then I have two now two bottles of conditioner for fish uh I have well water so I don't really think I have to worry about chlorine but like I do have to worry about other metals and stuff getting into the water so you have to use the conditioner with fish um but like if you have chlorine I think you need to have like a chlorine neutralizer or something like that because the chlorine can hurt fish. Then I got this net and a sponge kind of thing. I don't really know what the sponge is for, but I know what the net's for, so I've used the net multiple times. So that's all I have for the Comet so far. I don't think I'm going to get him any more things except for maybe a few snail companions. I'm not sure. There needs to be algae in the cage, in like in the tank. I keep saying cage because of Einstein. There needs to be algae in the tank for snails to live in there. So maybe there will be algae. I'm not sure. But yeah, I want to get a snail. I want to get two snails. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's all I have. So, this was just kind of like, oh, what I've been doing. I got a new pet. Um, what I got for the new pet. What I had. Um, just some more interesting facts about hamsters and never washed them with water. Or 
other pet soap that's not supposed to be used for them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Another really cool thing is I'm going to be making an Etsy in April. I'm going to be starting my Etsy in April. I'm going to be working on stuff that I'm going to put on my Etsy the next couple months just to like put it in stock, kind of. So, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me if you guys watch this. I got 78 views on my ham my teddy bear hamster teddy bear hamster video. Happy about that. Uh, just ask me questions if you guys want to know anything. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to post sometime soon. Bye guys, thank you. Peace out.